Alrighty guys, Yo hey guys, it's Beast back with some more Beastly content. So I realized they never actually did a full tour of this, so I figured we were going to do a tour of this while we went ahead and harvested it. So, uh, this is the entrance, this is where you will spawn, well actually you'll spawn in the room above for no real reason, I don't know why it does that. I thought my base computer was here, but I guess it's out there now, yeah right there it is. Okay, so, anyway, this is Sky High Green, so first things first. Uh, honestly, I feel like the first thing we should do is just take a quick, large-scale shot of this thing. Because this is a ginormous base. You will have to excuse any FPS loss here. This much nip-nip does cause a little bit of a frame drop. However, it is all worth it because I get almost three storage containers full of nip-nip every single time I harvest this bad boy. Which basically means every three hours, like it's either three or four, but regardless, after so many hours, I get 150 million credits worth of nip-nip out of this baby, and she's not even done yet. I figured I'd do a tour over this, and then I'd do a tour over mycelium. I might be deleting mycelium in favor of continuing this base, just because it does get a little bit annoying having to harvest more than one base, and this one was designed with the idea of the double biodomes. The other one was just designed as a biodome base, and then I discovered double biodomes, so, anywho, let's get on into this. So, that is the outsides. This is the main base. We're going to start with my harvesting route here. So, we start down at the bottom. This will harvest two each per little cylinder piece here. Inventory full. Uh, and what are we doing right now? Okay, so the good thing is we can put all of this up. I think we are working on mycelium. So... We're just going to go ahead and get all of this put up real quick, and then we're going to get started on this. So we put some up. That's okay. That's all we really need to do. Harvest. Uh, we are going to have to be putting it up again, so it causes like a second time of having to do that. Instead of just, you know, doing it and calling it cool. But anyway, then we go across here. Uh, the portals in the hole, or the hole in the floor, kind of creates like this hovering sort of like jet engine effect from the bottom, which I will show you in a little bit. Uh, that is why that is there. I ended up just sticking, and once again, inventory full so soon. I really need to work this out a little bit better. Uh, this is from the mycelium base, like I said, but also I was working on a bit of a nanite farm. As you can see, we are a bit higher on the nanite count than we were before, and it did not take me too much time. I have discovered something you can refine, but you can also purchase almost every drop of it right away and just be good to go and the things you can't purchase you can actually create farms for uh, i have not created the farm for it yet however i have just been buying uh, the ammonia and i think that's about all you need to know also i have a bunch of this back in my crater being smelted right now uh, like four or five thousand pounds of that stuff or four or five thousand you know of that stuff but uh here we go nip nip awesome so we're gonna do this and we're gonna look over here okay it should be good uh, hopefully we're able to get through this now. It actually does get a little bit annoying uh, having to do this. And we're also going to go through and do the freighter real quick. I think the freighter is where most of it's going to be stored because the freighter can hold 20 for a slot. So we're going to just go ahead and dump it to the storage container. The other cool thing about storage containers and why I still use them in my bases is that if you just place the ones that you want, you can access them from this menu here. Uh, and this will allow you to place them in just those storage containers. So the only storage containers I have actually available to access in this base uh, which we'll go ahead and summon our freighter here actually we'll wait to summon our freighter but anyway harvest that again just to make sure they all harvested this time go over to this one and let's continue so besides the fact that i needed to dump out most of my stuff for mycelium uh which that wasn't finished we didn't finish harvesting mycelium by the way we might actually go through and show both of the bases today uh there we go so, like I said, these double biodomes are absolutely wonderful because it's just like an instant 32 nip nip. Uh, and how fast you can run this, it's just, here's the end of the portal. So this will take us to the next floor we want to harvest, which is actually ground floor. Don't ask why I decided to design it this way, I just did. Uh, we're now going to run over to this one. See, the only thing is, the way it looks is that that portal Ooh, go back stop it see this is my other problem with this space is the ladders have to be here well actually i don't think the ladders even have to be here i should really get rid of the ladders uh, i think i tested this out because i had some areas where there wasn't any ladders uh, and it still functions so i might just want to be doing like 
uh, only warps there, which might allow me to organize this elevator situation a bit more. I wish I could have just numbered signs that say 1, 2, and there might even be those in the game in decorations. I just haven't used the salvage data to unlock it yet. I'm not 100% sure on that. If there are numbered signs, I do need to be acquiring those, though, so, uh, because that would help me a ton here. Now, this floor does not actually have anything but two uh, and it is 100% completed now, so we're going to go here, I do believe. This will take us here, and this is right where we want to be. So, this is the next floor we want to harvest. Once again, this floor is only going to be two, so this one will be a very, very fast harvest to get done with. So we're just going to run through here real quick and get it done. So, this one might actually be... Ooh, and it looks like we went the wrong way. We're supposed to... See, this base, I need to get another hallway there, really. That's all there is to it. It would have been a universal run if that hallway was already placed. But at the time, I didn't have it. I do have plenty of materials for placing a hallway there now. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and get one added in there. Uh, just because it'll make me feel just the slightest bit better. Turn snap on. There we go. Okay, there we go. So, we've now ran them all, and I do believe our teleporter is going to be not here. Uh, did it harvest everything? Yeah, everything's harvested, so we just gotta figure out where the teleporter's at. So that's the one that got us here, right? So shouldn't there be any, another one, I would think? Oh, okay, so after that, it, we're just supposed to climb up here in order to start the next level. So I forgot about this, I just added this section in, so I'm not really familiar with how I normally harvest it, because I don't really have a method of harvesting it yet. I don't even think I got ladders placed up. This is what I was talking about earlier. So I actually had to reload a save. That's why I decided to just go with this. I was working on showing you a little bit better of a revamp of my nanite farm. But uh, one, I just did a nanite farm video. So I kind of like to let that one get some views first. Uh, and two, which is a very simple nanite farm, which is still useful. And the new version of it I do have is the same farm. It's just, it takes place on a different location, first of all. That's the first hint. Uh, and then, of course, also, it's just a better farm for a lot more nanites. And with, in combination, or in coupling with an actual farm for one of the resources, actually a couple of the resources, probably, uh, or at least counterparts to create the resources, you will be able to farm a ton of nanites and actually just grow what basically is going to be growing nanites because you can get so much of these two specific materials, which, uh, that's for a future video on. You can get two specific materials extremely, extremely easily and actually get spaceships and spaceships full of stuff, uh, which will give you, you know, stacks and stacks and stacks of it, which is wonderful in a specific galaxy. That's all I'm going to say. So, uh, once again, we are getting pretty close to almost the end. Uh, we are in this top little dome area here. Uh, I'm not sure if I ended up sticking a teleporter up here. I think I did, actually. Uh, it will take us straight back down. So, we're just going to clear out the starship, I think, for now. Which is our exosuper to be safe. Whatever, that works. Uh, and then start moving a couple of these, so we'll leave it at that. So, here we go. I really need to work on this inventory issue I'm currently having. Uh, that is a certain thing. Alrighty, so the next thing is, okay, so this one's already harvested. I lost track of having to build this, but this one's not harvested, so we'll go ahead and get it done. Uh, we're almost through with the harvest, actually, believe it or not, and we're only eight minutes in, so uh, with me going super slow and trying to show you the base while doing this, this was still a very, very efficient farm, and it is tons and tons of nip nip. We've had to add to our storage container multiple, multiple times. Now, granted, that is with us having, you know, uh, limited resources on space right now when it comes to our inventory, just due to the fact of what we were just working on, but... Uh, it's still a point nonetheless. 27. I'm not sure if maybe I didn't finish planting in that biodome possibly or what, but it harvested 27 there. Actually, I think I've got a biodome glitching into that one that harvests part of this biodome. It harvests exactly half of it actually. It's very interesting. Uh, so I guess if you can put biodomes in the sides, you could do more than 32. So that's a future video there. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. It'd be very difficult, I think, to get it to harvest a full three domes. But we might try it at some point. If I am able to come up with that, I will be posting a video over that. I do think that would be a much needed thing to know about. Uh, but, yeah. So, what we're going to do now, actually, is go ahead and get this all harvested. I wonder, actually, 
No, nah, there's no way that would work. Hmm. It, it is an interesting thought, seeing as how that one is harvesting basically one and a half, uh, and not a full, you know, 32 or anything. It's very interesting, but here we go. So, one more over. The way I judge if these rooms up here are harvested, which I've harvested a single one other time, uh, is just by looking and seeing if I've harvested the primary room. And then another good way to tell is seeing if I put any ladders out, apparently, because I didn't have any ladders previously. So next thing we're going to do, actually, is find the teleporter up here. Uh, this should take us back down to ground level. Well, bang, like I said. That is the end of the original run. Now on to another part of the expansion. Now, the original run did have the expansion, so we did recently expand on it to create that. But uh, here is the next part of the run, another four set of double biodomes just for some lovely, lovely, really, really quick snip, or whatever you wanted to grow in a double biodome. Uh, but like I said, we're almost through with this base. I don't think we're going to get to the mycelium base. Mainly, I think most of our time has been spent sending most of this to our inventory because half of our inventory is filled up with gold, silver, platinum, and a bunch of other things. So uh, what we're going to do is just try and get this harvest done and then we'll get one last shot of it i'll probably just show you the shot of it real quickly uh we will be doing a bit of a look as to the insides of this base so the, the top floors here i actually do have a bit of a player home setup going on there i have shown it previously in videos but uh yeah so i think i don't actually have any teleporters set up for this part of the run yet so this is going to be how the run was pre teleporters i wish we was having to find these so this actually doesn't need anything done to it, it's just a refiner room, and then this is actually my living quarters. So I have this little green screen wall set up here with the locker here and these blue screens here. Uh, this is meant to just be like the statistics and the stats for like all of the biodomes, so that like the biodome overseer or the geck lord, as I consider myself with the amount of money I make off of Nip Nip, uh, the geck lord here can just evaluate how his biodomes are doing here. That's the whole explanation of my decoration. So then there's also another biodome up here that can be harvested besides that. Besides that, uh, there are also going to be four more circular rooms here. I don't actually think I did anything but place biodomes on top of them, so that is a thing as well. We will have to be add all the ladders here. I think when I built these, I just planted the plants from free camo, so I didn't even check the insides and think about ladders or anything. So, uh, on to the next one. This is a circular design. I like to do the circular designs because as long as you go in one rotation direction, you will not miss anything. Uh, I am going to be adding plants onto these two hallways here. There's going to be two more double biodomes per each of these little rooms. That'll add uh, two double biodomes times four. So 64 times four, you get it. It's like 256 more plants. Super really fast. Uh, all in this little confined space. This one actually didn't get its biodome yet because I ran out of glass. Uh, so let's go on to the next one where we're going to get another ladder place because we don't know how to put our ladders down. Uh, harvest all plants. Like I said, I just built this part of the expansion and it is work in progress, but I think I'd go ahead and harvest it and show it to you. Uh, but yeah, I do believe that is about all of this besides one more thing. I do want to show you just ground level zero real quick. Uh, we do have to actually take a ladder down here, but what we're going to do instead of using the teleporter is do something that's my favorite for the center dome. I'm thinking about adding a Ganja 4 and a Ganja 5 to my storage system, meaning I'm going to add another storage crate here. It might be a little lower, making it look, trying to make it look like it's like being sucked up by a tractor beam or something, uh, but yeah. So, real quickly, this is what's going on here, so we'll just take a quick peek down here. I don't think there's too much going on in any of these rooms just yet. This one does have a teleporter as well as absolutely nothing. So I think we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the primary level and show you just what we have going on here. So first of all, we have the Overseer up here. We have a galactic terminal on all four of these little circle things just for quick buying of any sort of materials we want. And we do a lot of buying materials being get lords with way too much money on our hands. So, uh, it's still fighting. Why? Well, let's try it again. I want to buy this, so I guess I'm going to have to move 
one. No, I'm going to have to move. I think we're just going to move this to this. So I'm going to send this to our storage container. And we're now just going to go ahead and go back here and finish buying what we were buying and then keep so 8 Platinum already respawned, nice. Actually, honestly, if every time you open and close this, it gives Platinum, I might literally sit here and try and pump this. How long does it take? One Platinum? Uh, that's a very slow method. Let's see here again. I wish I knew the exact time it took for it to respawn, though. That'd be interesting. There's more pure fair, right? Okay, anyway, so uh, this is the weapons little area, and then there's also, of course, this. He is green guy and then the original room where the base teleporter is and then all of our short range teleporters that help us navigate the base as quickly and efficiently as possible. There are also four landing pads on this base so up to four ships can land on this including vendor ships uh, so that is a very very nice to know. Also here is our final shot. I am out. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and keep it beast mode. All you people are being so helpful for my video.